All right, could hard candy be the next way to screen for symptoms associated with COVID-19? Well, that sounds a whole lot better than a nasal swab. Well, a team of researchers at Ohio State <laughs> University is working on a study to determine if fruit flavored candy can be used to test for taste and smell loss from COVID. Now, Associate Professor Chris Simon says for 90 days, people in the study will be required to identify the taste and smell of a specifically created hard candy. Then they'll enter their results into a phone app. If they report a sudden drop in taste or smell, they'll get a text message to test for COVID. So what do you think? I mean, I've had multiple of those nasal swabs. Thank goodness I never had the brain tickling one, but mm -hmm. I, I'd certainly sign up for the hard candy for 90 days. Sounds good to me. Yeah, hey, that sounds that sounds really good, honestly. I mean, I eat candy anyway all the time, so I'm just like, this is perfect. <laughs> but um, I think this is a good alternative because I also was hearing them about. Um, I also was hearing about them saying we're they're gonna go through the back door entrance also to test for COVID. Did you guys hear about that yesterday? The back back door. Yes, the door where it's not supposed to be open. <laughs> what? Unless you were in the bathroom. You didn't see that? <laughs> I will take a nasal test and a hard candy <laughs> test any day over that back door. I test. don't think I'm picking up what she's putting down. Oh, you Actually, didn't now up. I am. So let's just tear. There you go. <laughs> There's the buzzer. Oh, okay. I was All right. going to actually ask for the buzzer, but I figured I'd just let Tara go ahead and, and save us. Oh, okay. Tara. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Save us. <laughs> yeah. My, my response will get the buzzer beater. I will say $300,000, that's a lot of money for some candy. I don't know if you ladies saw the viral video of a group of girls that had their friend who had lost her sense of taste and smell, mm -hmm. and she was tasting different drinks. So they had ice mm. water, cold coffee, pickle juice juice and Powerade and it's honestly almost comical to watch her <laughs> taste test wow. the different drinks because she can't see she thought all of them were water obviously completely different taste wow. tests theirs was free didn't cost them almost half a million dollar in research but I get it I think it's a, a unique idea but I'm also with Lady T not coming in the back door I'll that's take a couple right. cubes of candy that's right but you also should have put vodka in the line too and then it, it let her taste true. test that if that's, that's water that's and it's true. not fire going down your throat <laughs> then it's real okay I feel another buzzer coming on <laughs> Amy oh, it's before the okay. Okay. Yeah, Go ahead. Well, I think what we need and what we've all been waiting for is something that's just like, you know, over the counter that you can just do yourself really quick, get the quick 15 minute test oh. and be mm -hmm. good to go. We don't need candy for that, but why right. can't we just get something that we can like quickly swab ourselves, check it quickly and move on and be safe and whatnot. Like or, yeah, that's what right. I'm waiting for. Let's put the money towards that. Oh yeah, tell it girl. Or tacos and burritos. If we just a taco and burrito COVID <laughs> test and then we're good to go. <laughs> Hopefully it's coming, Amy. A simpler test is so. coming. <laughs> okay, well speaking of tacos and burritos, get your game day wing order in now because Americans are expected to eat a staggering 1.4 billion chicken wings to watch the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday. Now that is enough wings to circle the earth three times. The National Chicken Council's wing report says that is actually up 2% from last year. They say the uptick is because of the pandemic. Wings are a great comfort food and they hold up well for delivery. So that's true. What do you guys think? I mean, we, we we're big wing fans in my household anyway, so mm -hmm. Sunday's no different. But yeah, I agree. What do you think, Lady T? I already know Lady T's answer, but maybe what's your favorite kind of wing? <laughs> okay. I was like, she's probably going to skip me. But you know what? Half a billion <laughs> of those wings that she mentioned are probably just my house alone when it comes to game day, okay? Because I love wings. I think wings are the best game day surprise that everybody could have. It feeds everybody, and it's cheap, baby, okay? So I feel like that's it's, <laughs> it's definitely the best. Like, it's not even just an appetizer. It's also a main course as well. I mean, but don't get me started, okay? Now, if there's Old Bay wings, I mean, it's going down. That's all you got to say. Okay. There you I'll go. There. Tara, how about you? <laughs> Big wing fan? <laughs> big wing fan and I think it's kind of comparable to pizza but normally when you're at a big gathering for watching a game or just having people over to celebrate you know you do the traditional cheese or pepperoni mm -hmm. but with wings it's almost like that scene in Forrest Gump where they're like barbecue shrimp shrimp cocktail <laughs> shrimp scampi. Right. I mean you can get a plethora barbecue. of wings barbecue <laughs> wings spicy buffalo wings yeah. you can get the, the sweet wings mm -hmm. so I think it's a great thing it's it's pretty easy to eat a little bit messy but it's fun. I love it. I agree. All right. Well, big wing fans over here. Thank you so much, ladies. And now we want you